Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome in to this breaking news edition of Seattle Seahawks Today, powered by Chad Sports. Tyler Jones here with you as the Seahawks have a brand new running backs coach. Kennedy Pagamalu of the Las Vegas Raiders has been hired to join Mike McDonald's coaching staff and work under new offensive coordinator Ryan Grubb in Seattle. The news coming first thing this morning from NFL Network's Tom Pelissero tweeting out the following. The Seahawks are expected to hire veteran assistant Kennedy Palomalu as their running backs coach per source. And Kennedy Palomalu, in case you don't know, he has quite the track record uh, of where he's come from. What we put on this graphic, folks, we, we couldn't even fit all of it because it is a long resume here. If he was applying for this job and actually had to submit a resume, uh, I don't know what he's going to do about having the, the perfect one-page resume that employers are looking for because it is lengthy of plenty of experience that Pagamalo brings to the table. Most recently with the Las Vegas Raiders, before that with the Minnesota Vikings, and also experience in the college level as well, not just as a running backs coach, but as an offensive coordinator, both at USC and at UCLA, and most notably at USC when he was there, he was in a very good era of USC football, actually working with Pete Carroll many years ago as a running backs coach back then in the glory days of USC. We'll have more on that coming up later. Now, when I look at Kennedy Palomalu, here is a guy who has experience at both the college and NFL levels. And why I think that's important is the Seahawks are going to be running a college offense. What Ryan Grubb is bringing in, that air raid scheme, from the University of Washington and with a brief stint at Alabama for a couple of weeks, that's a college scheme, and they're going to have to adapt that to the National Football League, right? And so with that said, what you're looking at with Kennedy Palomalu is a guy that's seen it from both levels, right, from the NFL and from the college level, and how to translate accordingly. So for me, a guy that's a running backs coach that's coached at both levels, that has OC experience, and has worked with some pretty Big name running backs, we'll tell you about here in just a second. I can't complain about this hire. I cannot complain at all. I think this is a, a solid move, and you got to give credit where credit's due. Uh, where Mike McDonald has done a really good job with this coaching staff, this is another solid hire for him and what he's done with this group at this point. What is your one-word reaction to the Seahawks hiring Kenny Palabalu as their new running backs coach? My one word is solid. This is a solid hire for the Seattle Seahawks. I'll tell you more why I believe it's a solid hire in just a moment, but when I hear your one-word reaction, give it to us in the comment section. Folks, that's why you subscribe to Seattle Seahawks today is we're just built different around here, bringing you daily Seattle Seahawks videos anytime there's been a hiring or any moves on this coaching staff. We've been all over it from the very beginning here on Seattle Seahawks today, and we'll continue to do so until every single spot is full. And we're less than 200 subscribers away from 50,000 here on Seahawks today. As promised, when we get there, we're going to do a good old beer boot bath for yours truly. So help us reach that next milestone. This is why you subscribe. Subscribe now for free. You'll be glad you did. All right, folks, you are going to like what you're seeing on your screen right now. Here are some notable running backs that Palomalu has coached over the years at both the college and NFL levels. Most recently, Josh Jacobs with the Las Vegas Raiders, who uh, has been one of the best backs in football the last few seasons. Dalvin Cook in Minnesota, in Dalvin's prime, might I add. Uh, then in Jacksonville, he coached the likes of Fred Taylor and Maurice Jones-Drew. Both those guys were Pro Bowl caliber running backs that played a, at an, uh, a very high level. And then the USC days that I mentioned about, when he was on Pete Carroll's staff, Way back when, as a running backs coach, he worked with Heisman Trophy winner Reggie Bush, as well as Lindell White. Both those guys went on to be selected in the first couple rounds of the draft that they came out and won national championships at USC and put together one of the best backfields we've ever seen in college football history. So he has been successful at developing running backs at both levels to a high degree. Now, when I look at the Seahawks and where they go from here, the job that's ahead for Kennedy Palabalu is going to be to develop Kenneth Walker in Zach Charbonnet to the level of the previous running backs he's worked with. That way, when we talk about K 
Kenneth Walker and Zach Charbonnet. They belong in that same breath as those other running backs that he's worked with. That's the next step for these guys. Because the bottom line is this. You look at Kenneth Walker. You look at Zach Charbonnet. These guys have potential. But Kenneth Walker didn't quite reach where he was expected to, right? Zach Charbonnet, I would have liked to see more of in 2023 than the way he was used. Because the truth of the matter, this group has not even come close to touching their ceiling yet. There is work to be done. I think both these running backs are very capable of being RB1s in the NFL and playing at a Pro Bowl caliber level. But they have to be put in opportunities and situations to succeed and know how to use your running backs accordingly. I think in this air raid scheme, it's going to be very important that both running backs are going to be used in the passing game as both blockers and receivers as well. And that's up to Palomalu to figure out the rotation, how to use these guys appropriately, and get the most out of them. And based on his track record, I feel pretty good about this. How would you grade the hiring of Kennedy Palomalu? A, B, C, D, or F? I'll give you my grade in a moment, but what I hear from you guys first, weigh in the comment section, let us know your grade, A, B, C, D, or F, on this hiring. All right, let's uh, tell you about today's sponsor. That is Prize Picks. Prize Picks is daily fantasy made easy. Here's how it works. You choose two or more players in any given category. Get the choice of more or less, whether you're talking the NBA, the NHL, maybe you want to do a little golf. I'm going with a little NASCAR, folks. The Daytona 500, the Great American Race, coming up this Sunday. I am ecstatic. Cannot wait for it. And I got a little deal for you here on Prize Picks, folks. Here's what we're looking at: twenty bucks to win sixty. I got Tyler Reddick driving for Michael Jordan in twenty three eleven racing to have more than twenty and a half fantasy points. And you may be saying, Tyler, what, what, what do you know about NASCAR? Well, I, I'm a diehard fan, and Tyler Reddick just won the dual race at Daytona last night, so I think that's some incredible value there. And how about Bubba Wallace? Everybody knows Bubba Wallace. Uh, Bubba Wallace. He's finished second numerous times at Daytona. Came very close. This might be the year he finally breaks through. I got him to have more than 45 and a half fantasy points on Price Picks. Play along with me. PricePicks.com slash CLNS. They are offering you a $100 deposit match on your first entry. So play along today. Link is in the comments and description of today's video. PricePicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS to play along today. All right. My grade. As promised, I'm going with the B, okay? I like the track record. I do. And the names that he's worked with and the development there. But the statistics of what we saw from the Raiders run game last year is why I give this a B. And we'll go to those here in just a second. The Seahawks run game underachieved last year. There is work to do. What we heard all year long from Shane Waldron and Pete Carroll was we want to be a run-first football team. We want to establish the run to open up the passing game. And they never did that. They talked out of one side of their ass and didn't give results, right? You look at the numbers. Here's what the Seahawks have to work with going into 2024. Bottom half of the league in every major rushing category, from run play percentage to yards per rush, rushing yards per game, rushing yards per game, rushing touchdowns per game. There is work to be done with this group. But you look at the Raiders' statistics – where Palomalu came from, and they weren't too much to write home about either last season. 20th in rushing yard, rushing play percentage, 28th in yards per rush, 27th in rushes per game, 30th in rushing yards per game, 21st in rushing touchdowns per game. So that's why I give this a B, because the recent numbers that we see were not great. Although he's got a good history over the years, Palomalu does of developing these running backs, The recent numbers show me that it didn't go so great last year. It was one year, though. Raiders as a whole weren't a good football team. But nonetheless, that's the situation the Seahawks are in. Appreciate you joining us here on Seahawks today. We're going to continue to cover the coaching staff here in Seattle as more names get added over the next couple days. We'll tell you about all of it. Subscribe now for free. Help us reach 50K subs, and we'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today. 